<laughs> Welcome back, humans. It is Wednesday. My man Angelo's here. I'm here. And before we even say any more words, click, like, subscribe. I didn't hear you. Click, like, subscribe. That's right. And don't forget, turn on that notification button so you don't miss an episode because we drop one on Wednesday and Saturday. And this is one of those middle of the week vent sessions. And I think I got to start it off with a little something. Got a little something I got to say. Get that shit going then. So, man, my lunch. I was fooled by my own lunch. My lunch fooled me today. You felt victim. <laughs> I felt like, fault. I don't know what happened, man. It was felt like. you like got punked. You was looking for Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> yeah, it was like, or something happened like, remember uh, Devil's Advocate? Oh, my God. I love that movie. So, Pacino is describing you didn't see him coming. Right. Like, and she's just sitting there all coming like, what just happened? You know what I'm saying? So, we got this sandwich. It was like lunch provided. It was a. Not, it was a free lunch, so it was still, I can't complain all the way. All right? Right. But I, but I, I won't complain. I'll critique. How about that? This ain't a complaint. This is a critique. So I'm sitting there, and I see this Philly steak, or this steak and cheese hoagie sandwich, and it looks phenomenal. And it looks, like, crazy. It looks good. <laughs> you said you was ready to grub. Man, it looks so good. Smelled so good. The aromas was bananas. You open the box up, I'm like, it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That light. That yeah. Light, like, oh. Oh. yeah, it was like that home, like, I don't know. It was just like. You saw the aura on this thing. Like, yeah, I never had love. this food before, but for some reason, like, some comfort food just happened. Like, just that, just, it was just all like, I just felt like there's visions <laughs> as a little kid running and shit, throwing a ball or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and then I take a bite. Oh, you had a childhood flashback. Yeah, it was like, one of, you're the best big brother. You know, one of those things. <laughs> so then I take a bite. All right. Right. And man, oh, man. Was that a disappointment? I was pissed off. Why? What happened? What was wrong? Just like them dogs back there, whatever they had back there. Something like somebody's fighting over a meat bone or something. Who knows? <laughs> so I took I took a bite. <laughs> you said it tasted like disappointment. Oh, man. It tastes like the, the taste of betrayal. Like this, this was a taste of betrayal. You're like, I've been had. You motherfucking sandwich. He's like, I've been had. Yes, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Hoodwink. Somebody like told, taught me in a show and like, there was Elvis and they switched sandwiches. <laughs> and it still looked the same, but... The, Somebody did something with the flavor. like, Or they stole the flavor. It was like a flavor thief. All right? So I took a bite of this damn thing. Look, look you thought you had COVID. Like, I can't taste it. <laughs> yeah. The vid was running. No. So uh, I took a bite, and it was like a damn White Castle fucking slider. It tastes like a long slider. It, didn't, it was like, I like White Castle sliders, but damn, it looked, the way, what it looked like. It just, didn't taste like what it looked like. Oh, my gosh, man. I, the presentation was amazing. The presentation was like a 9.6. Right. You was looking at it like. Oh, this is about to be the motherfucking truth. Like, it, it, I felt so be betrayed. It was like like if you heard somebody talking shit about you and you was in the next room around the corner and you still heard them talking shit about specifically you and then you walk around the corner and they're like and super nice to you. Like, hey, what's up, man? That's what it felt like. You're biting that sandwich. <laughs> betrayal. It felt like that. You, you wanted to call the people that made it and like file a complaint. Like, yes. Like, what was wrong with the sandwich? Like, it didn't taste like shit. Right. What was going on here? Like you mean like they get an A for effort? I thought I, I thought it was like a a portion shit and it was a pinto. Like it was a portion on the inside. When I got in, it had cardboard seats, no power steering. <laughs> it was like a, a it should have been a decoration. Right, should've just, just a picture. A, yeah. they made they should have used that for the photo. Like this is just a picture. Like your shit ain't gonna taste like this. But it's like here's a flavor good. pack. Where the flavor packs? <laughs> you pack those, those ramen noodles, yeah. those little flavor packs. Like, you got chicken sauce. Like like open these up and just put them on the sandwich. Like what's this? Like I said, top that would have been such an improvement. He said he put some top ramen for real. Ramen shit. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's <laughs> for real. It was horrible, but I had to bring that up because oh my gosh, it was it was a it was, I was like. I felt like I was, like, tricked on something. <laughs> you know you're mad about it when you get home from work. Hours later, you still thinking about that shit? Like, I don't believe that happened. <laughs> Man. So, what's up on the Super Bowl, yo? Hey, did, did I say it? Did I call I, that score almost? Yeah, I did I, pick 31. Did. Wait, hold on. What did I, I said, like, what did I say, like, 29-17 or something? Yeah, you had a, you, we had a good – we both had kind of, like, Close. off scores on the for the yeah. Chiefs, too. And the Chiefs – I can't believe they didn't score a touchdown. Dude. Can't believe that. Hey. Well, 
like I said, when uh, you're staring down, you're staring down the field at the greatest. Man, it's like, hey, the intimidation factor. And I can't even say it's on him though, because I'm gonna say Mahomes didn't show up. Uh huh. His his offense didn't show up really. It was crazy. Like, well, they, the offensive they showed line. Up, yeah, they didn't show up. He had they, some backup they, players. They suited which, up. Look, they suited up, but they didn't show up. I was finding that out during play week. Like you know, we were talking like during like Thursday, like between after Wednesday's episode, right. like uh, they were talking about the injury reports, and I guess like Patrick Mahone's front line, like his offensive line was all kind of damaged. So I guess they were like moving a guy into right guard position who's never played, and a guy that they benched, they had to bring in. But, so I guess they were kind of hurting there, but yeah, you know, it's the big those, time, right? Those kind it's of the adjustments, big right? Those kind of adjustments. That ain't something you just throw in the mix, like. Uh, you know, so they already label uh, Mahomes the great one too, like the next great he, one. Oh, he is, like, and, they, and he still can take, be that. You can't take nothing away from him. Nothing. It wasn't like this is what's going to make him better because he was untouchable. They said this was one of his worst losses since like high school or something. So this was probably good for him, right? Because he probably felt like he was never. He probably was just winning forever. You know what I mean? Right. He was like, probably one of those guys, like a golden boy, like all like, through high school just in college like bang 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 you know come in here bing 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 already got a championship you know right like he didn't he doesn't really know yeah. that feeling of uh like said humility feeling, maybe right? humility disappointment and that, adversity that, right that that invincible feeling is gone now yeah you know uh reality check to him even um it's not a knock on him right there i mean i think no, maybe he right, needed not, it right it wasn't a knock on him like um they pierced his armor yeah you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying they Pierce's armor, like, there's nothing you can say bad about the dude, like. For sure. Motherfucker does his job, but, you know, and like I said, any given Sunday. It was an awesome game. Happen. It was, like. I was hyped up. I did not expect the uh, the uh, Gronk attack. I didn't expect Gronkowski to go off like that. I didn't expect that at all. I know. That was, like, that that was uh, that ace up the sleeve move. Like, yeah, gotcha. dude. Like, oh, because oh, they were trying prize. to shut down his receivers, and they forgot about Big Gronkowski, who used to do it all the time. He's got three or – that's his fourth ring, too, I think. I think that's his fourth ring. But uh, it was a good game. I still thought it was a good game. A lot of people said it wasn't or whatever. I thought it was an entertaining game, and I it was awesome just to see Brady win it. It would have been awesome was, if the Chiefs won. It was definitely an edge-of-the-seat game. Like, uh-huh. you like, okay, what's about to happen now? Like, Because I'm expecting – I was waiting for that – for that takeoff moment for Mahomes, like yeah, like same here. Like okay, it's second half. He probably it's halftime. They went in and regroup such and such. Like when, he's gonna come out and do do the damn the thing. The throws he was doing, like when he did that diving throw, like and still completed it. I was like, oh my god, something crazy is gonna go down. Right. Or I also kept thinking, you know, Brady was getting off early, right? And uh, being that he's an older player, I thought maybe he was gonna um get fatigued in the second half. I thought he was gonna like start to gas out, and then the Chiefs could have did the opposite of what I was saying. Because I thought the Chiefs were going to gas out, and that defense was amazing on the Tampa Like I Bay. said, right. Like I said, their defense was amazing. Their, their offense, though, just, they, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't all there as a cohesive unit like they usually are. So they, they were doubling up. They were doing, like, um, they weren't, they were rushing four guys, and there is basically like a cover two. So they, they, um, they rush in four, which was the minimal list of guys. You, you can even rush three, like on a Hail Mary or something stupid. Like, But these guys were rushing four, which was genius. And they were doubling up that little fast Tariq Hill guy and the big Kelsey uh, tight end that was that right. those guys there. So they had to. So he know? had to find a different way to win. They like, you know, what I'm saying because uh, Tariq Hill's known for um, almost 300 yards of offense by himself. He'll have over 100 yards rushing and 100 yards receiving, and he had zero yards receiving. Like they were, they were all over the place. Dude, those guys played a great game. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They locked this shit down. I thought it was a great game. Sue, man. Sue played a killer game, dude. Sue was like all over the place, dude. He was he played a killer game. I was impressed with Sue, man. I even see I even heard his name in a long time except in for bad minute. shit. And dude, in the Super Bowl, he was fucking killing it, man. And everybody on the defense, but I was surprised, I was impressed by Sue. He was like double team uh, double team guys every time on him. So then that's when those guys were getting through to after after Mahomes. And then he was handling those two guys. And he got in there and got Mahomes himself. And he was roughing him up. He was hitting him hard. You know what I'm saying? He was hitting him down to the ground, like, and not getting flagged, dude. I was just like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I was getting into it. Stu showed up. They, and like I said, the defense was on. But, again, they're all, his, his offense was just like, I felt bad for Mahomes. I'm like, damn, dude. Your whole offense is out here, like, I could even see if it was one or two people that went uh-huh. off, but it was like your whole offense line, fucking everything was just wasn't there. It was, was crazy. Not there. 
he was running for his life. And it was almost like Stafford was wearing a Chief jersey. It was like fucking in there by seeing Stafford. Like, oh, my God. Like, that was that. It was just, he was just all, he was on, on his feet, backpedaling all the, the, the whole game. Hell yeah, well, hey, like, after two hit once or twice, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to feel that shit again. You're like, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I, like I said, I remember when he blasted Rodgers. He had Aaron Rodgers in the back and Jay Cutler. He also like, did one of those back stiff arms to Jay Cutler when right. he was on the Lions. <laughs> oh, man. Now, a lot of people it. talked a lot of shit, right. but uh, they, they all want him on his team. You know what I'm saying? Like when he was on our team, they were like, he's so dirty. But he still got $100 million from Miami and some money over in Tampa. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like You still paid him on that team. Right, but when you right when he's on when he ain't do when he ain't being a dick, yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's a bad motherfucker to have. <sighs> that is, you know what I'm saying. You can't go wrong. All you have to do is keep him in a, keep him in pocket so he don't get out of line and shit. But right, like, did you see any of those commercials? Did you like any of those commercials? I don't really. The Drake from State Farm show was kind of that was pretty funny. Was kind of funny. Uh, some of them were pretty lame, but you know which one I thought was funny was the lemon one. How 2020 was a lemon and the lemons was hitting people and shit. <laughs> right? That was so fucking great. That was, that was one of my favorites. That was like hot tie-ins down one of my faves. Yeah. Big oh, tie, dude. Shit, though. The lemon's just flying out everywhere. <laughs> He's on the bike, like, and it was like... Like 2020. Bam. Pow, pow. And the lemon juice, man, will burn you and shit. Like, it'll sting your eye. <laughs> man. <laughs> what about the halftime show? What you think of the halftime show? I didn't even watch it. You didn't? I did. No, not at all. I watched it. You know, no, I mean, no, it was no. a good performance. Like, I, I like won't knock the performance. Though. Right, I'm I, not I, like I, I said. I'm not a fan of his at all. I don't like and there not one of his songs. Cause I'm like, oh, I like, I do not uh-huh. like his music. You know, he's all. not one of your shower singers. I'm, no, I'm not. A, <laughs> That's one of my shower singers. I just no. I just, I don't like hate hair. him or nothing. I just <laughs> I'm not into his music. Never have been. When all right. Like the weekend, I was like, well, eh, don't want to see that. I usually just leave the game on and watch everything when it's on. Just it's, right. I, it's my tradition. I usually watch it. Or if it's like uh, if it was like really shitty, I'll even though I'll, I might flick through on a commercial, I will flick back to the Puppy Bowl. Like, I, I can't <laughs> resist it. I love me some Puppy Bowl. I don't even care. <laughs> Judge away. Judge away. I've never watched Puppy Bowl either. But anyways, I thought he um, I thought it was a good performance. But the one thing I don't like, and I really don't like, and I wish they would change this in Super Bowl performances. Is all they do is like snippets of songs, right? Never full songs. Yeah, you know, so like five songs mashed yeah. into one. So, so and I even hear that some people. I even hear recently. I haven't been to like none of these guys' concerts or anything, but some of the concerts I've heard, some people are even like are doing it in their concerts and shit. So you're like going there hearing like one verse of the song to the chorus and then the next song, and you paid probably fucking the concert tickets are way exploded nowadays too. So, I don't know, man. I just thought it was. I, I thought it was a good performance. Like I said, there was cool effects in there, cool fireworks and. It was this cool thing where he was in all these mirrors and shit. But um, I just didn't like, and there was a lot of lip syncing. Of course, that didn't another thing. And then they kept doing snippets of songs. Like, here's one little piece of this song, this song, this song. And it was like, he did like five or six songs. But they were like, just not whole songs. I would have been happy with like two whole songs. Right. Just, they're doing a mashup. <laughs> yeah. It was like, man. And then the guys had a, you remember, I don't, well, he's got, a, you don't watch him. So he's got a video. And the guys, it's about a, and something happens like a car accident or something. And so the guy's face is all bandaged up. And then he made it, he had everybody thinking he got this surgery done for real, kind of like Michael Jackson type of face. Right. So everybody thought he really did it. He, he looked so real. And I was like, what the fuck did he do to his face? You know, and he showed up at the Super Bowl regular. So it was like, but he's like, oh, phew. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So, like, yeah. So he had his backup dancers all wearing this, like, tr- supposed to be bandages, but the shit looked like underwear. It looked like fucking they were wearing tidy whities in the face. He's like, uh, I'm ready to you to cut out, cut a couple holes in these fruit looms and some eye holes. <laughs> right. Or they went to the football locker room. Like, can we use your jock straps real quick? And if I can just put them on the fucking faces. They're I like mean, our, they're like our uh, wardrobe people didn't show up. Like, we need something quick. Yeah, that, that was a big fail. Back there? That was Epic. a big fail. I'm telling you, man, it was like tight, like fruit of looms on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like I said, I'm not a fan of the weekend, so I didn't watch any of that. I'm like, uh, you know me though. I'll watch stuff to get some material. <laughs> The rip on his on the guys that was wearing fucking jock straps on their face. <laughs> fucking instead of panty wasting, it was panty facing because that shit was all old and shit. Hey, and, I bet you. Anybody, you know what I'm saying, like betting wise or whatever, uh-huh. sports bets. I bet there was a lot of money made on this because. Oh like, yeah, people lost a lot of money. I got you know one how many for you. People, check it out. You know how many people probably bet on Kansas City to you know what I'm saying yep. to the repeat in. Lost like mega bread. Yeah. What did you hear about the streaker? Yeah. 
Did you hear what he did? Oh yeah, he went to uh got like three hundred seventy five, three hundred seventy four thousand dollars. Uh, somebody bet him a thousand dollars that he would do it. He went to jail. He said it co- the, no. Uh-huh. He said it only cost a thousand dollars bond, and he made fucking three hundred seventy four thousand yep. dollars off that. So he bet that there was gonna be a streaker, and he streaked to make sure that bet would happen, and won to went to the bank. He and it only cost him like a little bit to get out of jail. Yeah, thousand dollars yeah. was a bond to get out. So you cleared three hundred, a little <sighs> over, a little over uh, a third of a million dollars. Yep. Dude. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. That was a good move. Dude, that was. One guy I heard say it was never going to happen again, and I think it will because you can't, like, whoever makes a bet, you're not guaranteed they're going to be the ones to do the act. There's no there's no way unless you had fucking minority report shit. And my man was like, you know what? <laughs> you had those cognitive, whatever the fuck them be, precogs. Hey, that was a smart-ass move, though. He's like, I'll bet the bank that it'll happen. And my brother's like, I'll take that bet. And he did it himself just to make sure, like, Shh. like, oh, yeah, I know for a fact. Like, even when he's making a bet, yeah. he's probably like, ha, 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 y'all have no idea. I'm going to be the motherfucker in the street. He so I know for uh, a fact it's going to happen. He should have wore a ski mask for that bank robbery. You know Bro. what I'm saying? I wonder how many people were mad about it, though, like. like it was hilarious. I, like, I mean, no, we're mad that they had to pay him, like, the people he bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. probably like, ooh, like, like. I can't do nothing but fucking pay the dude because I made the bet, but he's like, they feel like they got got. Like, you made that bet because you were the one that's going to do it. They felt like what happened in that stock exchange recently and a couple weeks ago when they was all doing that GameStop stock. Did you hear about that shit? Uh Uh-uh. So they basically did what all these hedge fund, you know, traders do on a daily basis, and the local people, the small people like us, decided to get in the game, and we was – and we was winning, man, and these guys were freaking out. And they literally stopped the the local people, the from from trading those, getting those shares of stocks. And it's fucking not allowed. They had to open it back up because the guys were. There was literally guys from the Wall Street. There was a guy from Wall Street crying on the fucking TV because of what was happening. What do you think we're gonna do when we ain't working? We're gonna jump in the market where the money's at, and you're using other people's money, and we used our own, and it was all doing the damn thing the legal way. And they tripped out because people were making money, getting these shares and fucking clock and toe. And they didn't know what to do. Little kid fucking bought some shit. People were buying shit all over the place. And they were tripping because they were losing money. Those guys right. were all sitting like, well, who are these people? Who the hell? This kid's 12 or whatever the fuck. They were like tripping out. And they were losing. It was like that movie uh, Trading Places. Right. Mortimer. <laughs> what the hell, Mortimer? Like they uh they cornered the frozen orange. He's like, market. Randolph. <laughs> they were all tripping. <laughs> Randolph. And he better a dollar than that. Yeah. Where he's like, we'll bet a dollar. Randolph. <laughs> we got to get out of here. That's what those guys, it was, they were tripping. What happened in that movie, like, was happening with the GameStop. And they were tripping. They were trying to lock it down. I mean, if that was what they're so afraid of, though, like, why did they even open it to a public, uh, you know what I'm saying? They didn't, dude, it was going on for years. Nobody was doing anything. You know what I'm saying? It was going, it just, somebody decided to see what happened. And it's, and, you know, it started picking up steam. Domino effect. Exactly. Like one person did it. Every it went viral. It was almost like a video going viral. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, oh shit! Like one person taught two person, and next thing, man, it was like bing, 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 and people were going after shit, dude, and they didn't know what to do because people were making dough, and those guys were losing it fast. They were losing it fast. (laughs) It was like the fucking vacuum just went in the bank. It was like just fucking just took it away. That's so fucked up. Yep. And but uh. I mean, it's not fucked up. It's a good thing for, you know, like John Q. Public, you right. know, us, the the normals. But I bet you, like, fat cats that's over there, millionaires, whatever, thought they were just about to go home, uh, come to uh stock exchange, go yeah. home with a couple million, and only went home maybe 200000 To them, that was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I thought it was a good move, though. You know what I'm it saying? It was. So now they think that, that somebody could stop that from happening. And I also, they also said something about, I'm not, like, I don't really know the whole scoop, but I just heard a couple little things here and there right that um they're trying to tax the the stock transactions they're trying to tax them so the literally people that run the the, the stock, stock exchange are threatening to leave new york over this like the new york the whoever makes the you know tax laws in there are right. trying to put one on that transaction so now they're fucking threatening to leave new york and go where though like well there's a lot of real estate in california ain't nobody there everybody left no. This would be perfect real estate. Y'all oh, could make no. California the new New York and bang it up with fucking skyscrapers and shit. 
Dude. All the burnt houses that went down, y'all can just flatten the shit out. Skyscraper, skyscraper, skyscraper. I don't, I don't see that happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they can put uh, all the bank vaults in those mountains. New York Stock Exchange is like iconic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see them moving that and going to another state. I know you're not into the conspiracy stuff, but there's a thing going. They, they believe a thing is happening right now, which is kind of creepy, and they're calling it the Great Reset. And uh, this, it kind of feels like shit is. Not a conspiracy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like shit is happening. And New York start, New York is even like trying to protect themselves. Like, look, we'll leave. We'll leave. We know how long this place is, but y'all are fucking shit up. We will leave. I will take me and my clothes and the kids. We'll turn this car around and go somewhere else. Like, I swear to God, we will turn around right now. <laughs> yep. Hey. Shit's happening. It's like... happening. That's what I'm saying. It, it doesn't feel like a conspiracy anymore. <laughs> right at first it was just a joke ha ha funny you're crazy and now yeah look at the, the events of the past what four five six months yeah I mean, even the past last year, year. But, but truthfully like i said within that past like six five six seven months it's really been like like you've seen it coming like a little over a year ago yeah. but now like i said for four five six months it's really been like blatant it up in your face. It's undeniable now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, at first I thought, and then it looked like, but now the vision is clear. Like, this is what it is. It's crazy. It's crazy. Stuff is, I never would have thought that, you know, when we were kids, like you always say, like, I'll never see this in my lifetime, of this in my lifetime. Like, these scenarios that are happening were not even in my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I was always like, I'll never see you know, aliens in my lifetime, or I'll never see blah, blah, blah in my lifetime, and you know what I'm saying? And I, but like, like this shit will never happen, and now you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, and people say like, oh, you know, like um, the Earth planet's changing, you know, and like sooner or later this and this is going to happen to the planet. And I'm like, I'll never see that in my lifetime, but this shit here, I was like, I never even thought this, like this stuff was not even in my head. Like, it was unfathomable. Yeah, like, like damn, I can't like, go outside and fucking show my face? You know what I'm saying? Go outside, you, you got to be covered. Just, man, shit's, it's weird. It is. Shit's just getting to the point where, like I said, at first it was just unbelievable. And now it's just shock and awe. To we got to have that. Just like, our, oh. um, our Jerry Maguire moment. That, like, who's coming with me? Like, because I'm sick of this. Who's <laughs> coming with me? <laughs> or like half baked. He's like, I'm not going to go off. Well, that's what he re- flip all out. That was the, right, from that. Yeah. Free. Yeah. He's like, all I know is who's coming with me. Who's coming with me, man? Jay's That's what like, I'd be doing too. I'd be looking and nobody came, but fuck it. <laughs> like you turn around. I made my stand. Hey, if you're looking, they're looking for like, who's gonna stop me? You and you're like <laughs> me and all my. They're like you and all your who. You look around like, oh, I guess no one came. <laughs> they're like all these me's by myself. No. It's like you know what? Let me regroup, think about this, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> the whole way you're marching forward, talking like we're gonna do this. Yeah. We're do this, thinking there's a gang of people behind you. Turn around and shit with the wind, <laughs> like in a stray dog that just followed you because he was hungry. Like, right. what the fuck? Oh, man. So, I'm going to switch a little topics here for a second. Oh, shit. All right. So, this is always a good thing in clips. Fuck, man. I was watching some movies, and then I got into talking about movies after watching some movies. <laughs> All right? So, like, you know how that happens you sometimes. You know I love movies. Right. So, Liam Neeson. All right? Plays the same dude in all his movies. I don't know where you are. But I have a particular set of skills. Yeah, he always sounds like, like he's hurting. Dude. Right, like, dude. Like, uh, like, do it from your diaphragm. He's like, I can't speak very loud. My chest hurts. I have a certain set of skills. I almost sound like Optimus Prime. No, I'm he's just like kidding. Autobots roll up. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, anyways. On, I, Liam Neeson, speaking of which, I'm sorry, I didn't cut you off. All right. That is another dude I am not a fan of. Like, Why not? Check it out. <laughs> Him... And Tom Cruise are two people. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm just not fans of their like. It's I could I could do more Tom Cruise than I can Liam Neeson. I'm like, uh-huh. it's certain people that they put in these tough guy roles that are either believable uh-huh. or not believable. Gotcha. Like Liam Neeson to me does is not he's not believable to me as a tough guy. No, like if maybe he a psychopath me, guy, but not like a tough yeah, guy. Like, like if he a weapons if guy. If you'd have told me been on the phone with me and been like. I, I will find you this and that. I would have gave him my fucking address and phone number. Like, nigga, GP here. You? I'll be here. What time you getting here? I'll, I'll be in the, I'll be in the, I'll be in the uh, driveway waiting for you. Like, he just ain't believable to me as a tough guy. Liam but, Neeson. So, as you were saying. So, basically, he's the same dude in his movies. But yeah, one of the movies that kind of set him off 
got him like back on the scene was Taken. All right, the Taken movies. So I'm like, man, it's a, it the the first Taken was phenomenal. All right, it was a great movie. It was like something awesome. It was different. It was different. Yeah, it was a fun action movie suspense. Right. You know, it was I, you like you know what I did enjoy that. It was movie, good and I, fresh. I like lie. came out. To, you know, it was a fun one. You know what I'm saying? It was a good one. I liked it. Okay. By the so third one, I was like, dude, I want to see this shit no more. So then, how many takings can you have? So this is what brought me into this. Like, I mean, come on, man. Like, how many times you fucked up? Your kid's gonna get taken again, and then your wife again, or whatever. And like. Where, where does child, child like protective services come in? Like you ain't doing a good job. I guess your daughter's an adult, maybe or something. She's close to an. Is she an adult in this film? I forget how old she is. I think so. I think she's over eighteen. Oh, so, so I guess they can't yeah. take your ass to put in that. But something's got to happen. But her as a daughter should have ran away. Like you know what, pops? I can't stay with you no more. Like I'm gonna go get you my. You got own me kidnapped spot. twice again, and then a taken three. Like right, like my life is actually in jeopardy every time I stay with you. When are you gonna qu- like? When are you guys gonna have that family meeting? <laughs> When's that family meeting gonna come in? Like you know what, Dad? I appreciate the fact that you did save my life two or three times, but my life was in jeopardy because of shit you did. Yeah. You know like, what? Like, you fucking up my life. Yeah. It was like, I saw you get smacked in the face. I'm not going to jump in. I'm going to ask what you did first. Right. Like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, he, they had nothing to do with this. And like, yet he let it happen, like, taken three times. You taken, taken, taken. Like, you fucked up. Like I said, when the family meeting come in, you're going to be like, Dad, we really got to sit down and talk. And he's like, what? First, let me check the windows. Or get away from all the windows. Let's talk here. Lay down. Go, let's talk in the basement. You know what I'm saying? Let me arm the panic room. Right. You're like, dude, all that for a family meeting? Like There might be wolves outside. You're like, you know what, Pops? Fuck it. Forget I'm just going to go to bed. (laughs) Right. It's like, so they're going to be like, dude, this is a little out of hand. Maybe we should send us to, like, in Dubai or hide us somewhere, you know, put us somewhere in another country. For a little while, or put us in protective custody. Maybe call the cops and put us in protective custody, and then you can go and take care of these guys while we're safe. <laughs> but that didn't come through his mind with all his set of skills. All them so. skills you couldn't call the FBI or somebody to put you in protective custody. It makes me mad. They're always they always be not only are they gangster, but in in the villain in the villains crew. Uh huh. It could be throughout the movie. You didn't come in like physical contact fighting yeah. with about six, seven, eight dudes in uh-huh. the whole movie. And for some reason, the villains and all these dealers of skills, it's never one of them that straight up hand to hand could whoop his ass. Like, you know what? I beat this dude such and such. Yep. And ain't never that one dude be like, I beat your motherfucking ass. This shit is over. I knocked you out. And I <laughs> it's think over. I think it's time. To, I think it's time to change uh, movie fight scenes because they got to be more realistic. Like you see those oh. fight videos on YouTube and like on all the social media, any video they show fights. Those guys can uh, people can take more than one punch and they, and they don't stand there like this. Like you got to have a sloppy roll on the floor looking real fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? With a head's on the ground, you don't know where you're getting a punch in, but you're doing it. Those got to be more realistic. Every dude in the movies be like like they're trained fighters. Like you yeah. never see no matter where it is, you could be fighting some dude that just came out the grocery store in the parking lot and for some reason they're all like professional. Ha, I can block such and such. Yeah, all they're, of a sudden the guy never, right, you'll never see nobody who's like they got hands but they ain't got no defense. Like, oh yeah, we're just staying toe to toe and just got their shit blew out like damn, like oh, wait a minute. Yeah, and how come every time it's an action movie, like a Liam Neeson movie or something like like you said, every villain is a martial artist. Right. Not only could, like, their fight or whatever, they're, like, all of a sudden they're just, like, everybody can just do karate kicks and shit. Like, where do you find all these guys that can kick or, in a criminal world? Or what kills me, though, would be the fakest shit about fights in movies. And this is every movie. Uh-huh. In real life, motherfuckers can't take punches like that because the motherfuckers would be, like, they'll be going through shit. Like, motherfuckers get thrown through the wall. Yeah. Punch in the face three times, and they'll get right back up. Like, it's not over. Like, motherfucker. Like in real life, those, only people those on meth do that. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Bath salts and meth. Right. In real life, though, you, motherfucker would have stopped fighting. <laughs> Don't nobody fight for. I, you hear people say, "Man, we was fighting for like five minutes." Like, no, you weren't. Yeah. You were talking shit, an argument, and the fight itself was maybe 45 seconds, two oh, minute, minute and a half. I got because a funny. The average person cannot fight for no straight three minutes. Hey, like you cannot do it. I do got a funny fight story. Up. My buddy. I'm not going to bring his name. I guess I better just, I'm bad with me. They, you know, they've been letting me know about this name dropping, but all right, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's noted, Josh. No, I'm just kidding. My man, uh, one time Josh, got her. He was a bit. skinny Josh? Yeah. Oh, the one who looked like a, man. my brother said, look like a shaved cat. Look like a shaved human cat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you had that asthma attack. It looks because when I when I, when I thought about it, yeah. I visioned John. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I used to always do that. No, I'm saying. Boy. <laughs> but that's what he said too, cat boy. Damn, I forgot all about that. Oh that's crazy. God. We need to well, anyway. A, we gotta make a comic with that one. No, it's cat boy. <laughs> but so, anyways, he was like a big time smoker. And a lot of his, like, the circle was, you know what I'm saying? It was my boys and shit. I just didn't smoke. I quit after a while, you know? I used to smoke, but I didn't, I, I'm a, I quit. And uh, anyways, these guys had, like, the most horrible lungs. Like, my man would cough and shit and stop coughing after he threw another cigarette in his mouth. And then the cough would stop. It was like his lungs were like, I need another one. And he'd be like, Psh, and he was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It was like the inhaler. Relief. It was like the, 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 the inhaler from <laughs> asthma. He said his lungs was like, Ricola. So his lungs were shot, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you could tell the whole circle was. Right, at they, 16 years old. Yeah, they all used to hoop with me, and they started hooping less and less. Like, you could just, the Newports was winning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But said Newports was winning. So one time, they got in a, him and his boy, another, you know, heavy smoker, they got in a fight. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, the fir- the fucking baddest five seconds you ever seen in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, it was the best five seconds. And then after that... They were just leaning on each other and shit. When did this fuck after five? Yeah, seconds? they were leaning on each other. Or they looked like they was high school dancing because they were trying to balance each other because they were just out of gas. It was like the five seconds, though, was amazing. It was like, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> they were just holding each other and laying on. They started leaning on a car. And the guy didn't even complain because they didn't even fall on the car. They just, like, laid on it. They were just going all lazy. <laughs> he said he didn't even complain. Yeah, he had no like, juice. He was like, get off me. Let me up. He's like. He's yeah. Like, He's like, you about ready? He's like, I'll, it was one, hilarious. Two, He's like, one, two, three, you let go, I'll let go. It almost, it would look like they were training. It was like they were doing that, like when somebody grabs your arms and you keep doing this, and they keep switching each other, like, I got you, no, I got you, no, like, I, got I got you. you. <laughs> it was like that was happening while they were resting. They were like taking all these breaks, and apparently they would throw a punch, and their punches had nothing in them either because they were, they, they powder couldn't breathe. Ball punches, they were like. It sounded like fucking, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It sounded like Darth Vader with his mask off or something. He's like, <laughs> They were all doing that, throwing punches. They were wheezing like they had that fucking that emphysema breathing. Like, Big time. <gasps> For real. Like, dude. Sound like an old creaky look, door. Like, like, you're only 16 years old. You're, you're not overweight, so it's not like you're fat and out of breath. Like, dude, you're only 16 years old. Like, yeah. how are you winded? So we, like, told everybody to stop because it was like, like I said, the first five seconds was quick. It was, like, awesome. It was like a fast speed, and it just, like, just all of a sudden, like, time flipped. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, time warped. He was like, time just stood still. We were like, man, this is getting boring. And we're like, you guys got to stop now. And they all just sat there and did that. They held their knees and shit. They were just like, just breathing. And then he's they like, both cracked out cigarettes. He's like, you, you need a cigarette? I got you. <laughs> he pulled his pack out. It was like flipping one. Like, you want one here? He's like, good luck, bro. Good luck. He's like, man, you know how most people like, we're going to have a drink together. We're going to be best friends. This fight. <laughs> They're like, they had a cigarette together. Like, you good? He's like, I'm good, too. Yeah. He's like, I don't even know why we was fighting. Me neither. So, you know, I know we got a little derailed, but they do got to make those movie fights a little well, bit better. Yo, I'm telling you, motherfuckers be doing shit in the fights in the movies. It's just like, okay, that was a badass fight scene. The action was cool, but ain't no way on God's green earth a motherfucker fought like that for no two, three minutes. Mm-mm. You had some kind of superhuman power. Dude. Motherfuckers would have been tired, now I'll do like, out. I'll do rounds on the bag. And and that's crazy. You're, and nobody hitting you back or nothing. And you're just doing that. And uh, you do a full winded. three minutes. Yeah, I do doing it. Doing this. With, with, with uh, boxing and doing yeah. just that bag. And fuck, dude. That's why boxing like... training is the most best for stamina. I think it's like one of the best endurance stamina. I feel like when I do like training, like I'm in, I just, I got to, like my battery's just, phew, you know what I mean? But uh, like I said, I do box for like an hour, an hour or more at a time. Yeah. And. We, we do everything in, like, three-minute intervals. Nice. And, like, you know what I'm saying? In that three minutes, that, look, that 20, that 23-minute, uh, well, no, maybe 15. Right. Three-minute session because you little breaks in between, whatever. Dude, that's 45 minutes, you know what I'm saying, of straight-up work. And, dude, like I said, that feels like the longest three minutes in the world. Yeah. I mean, when you're doing it, though, once you get into it, you don't even think about the time. But by the end of that three minutes, you're yeah. like, Shit, like you can feel it. I mean, so when well, motherfuckers be like, "Oh, man, we got spot for about ten minutes." Like, no, dude, you talk shit for eight and a half minutes. Yeah, you ch- look, you were chest to chest for another th- uh, a minute. The actual fight itself was like forty five seconds, if that. Right. So back to the movie thing. Um, what was a movie that, like, a comedy, like a comedy film that you jumped into, and you had like low expectations with? And then you come out like awesomely surprised. Um, 
um, like you were like, I guess I'll watch it, and then that, and you were like, fucking glad you did because that motherfucker had you, you know, slapping. You know what I'm saying? Um, laughing hard. Van Wilder. Oh, that's a good Van one. Van Wilder. I did not expect that movie to be that funny. I was like, dude, Ryan Reynolds had me fucking dying in that movie. That, yeah, that was a good one. That uh, road trip. Road Trip was good. Road Trip, I did not expect that movie to be that funny, but I was like... I was expecting it to be funny, but I didn't expect it to be that, that funny, funny. You right, know what I'm saying? When DJ calls the skinny kid. Oh, my he God. Had, he uh, had sex with the black chick. Yeah. And he fucking had her panties went around the bus. He's like, you kill a cheat? He's like, no, it's her underwear. She gave it to me. He was like, what the fuck? And it was like big ass draws. <laughs> and when they went to that, that all black fraternity where he, they met the girl and all that, that was so funny, man. Oh, my man came out with the clam ass like, who is this? He passed out like, oh. And he had the handshake too, man. My hand was doing his homework. Oh, my God. That movie was so fucking funny. It man. always pays off to be smart. You had to, That's one thing. Right. Regardless hey. of what they're trying to do to society now, it always pays off to be smart. Because that dude was on. If they, if he didn't have that knowledge, them guys might have had a different movie. Right. It would. It might have been a situation. different movie. They'd have got fucked up. Road trip would have had a different meaning. Dude, like AKA. Was funny. Run. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that movie was. Funny. Or AKA wrong turn. Right. <laughs> also known as wrong, also wrong, wrong turn, like, turn three. Detour. <laughs> Fucking off. Uh, but. <laughs> It was like wrong turn three, kill Whitey. No, I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> they had a. Uh, there's uh, well, I ain't gonna say unexpectedly funny, uh-huh. but some of Adam Sandler's movies to me, like yeah. they're always funny, but then it'd be something to just be like, okay, dude, that was over the top. I am not gonna lie to you, bro. Waterboy. Oh my god! Had the first time I saw that movie on God and Everything I Love. Yeah. I swear to you, like I was folded over in my chair, like. Crying, laughing, yeah. slob dripping out of my mouth, fucking laughing, like bent over. When, like, oh my! When I saw the God. movie trailer, I'm like, this movie looks kind of weird. I don't know if it's gonna be that funny. It's like Billy Madison. I don't know what I'm looking at. Dude. So I, I, we actually watched it in a theater, and oh my gosh, dude, I lost it. Dude, you, that's an all. That was all so funny. Favorite funny movies, dude. Like, you wanna know another one that got me that I thought was gonna be stupid? I actually thought it was gonna be stupid from the trailer. I thought the movie was gonna be stupid, and it. It is a classic, and it's actually one of my favorites. Was Grandma's Boy? I thought the movie was gonna suck when I saw the trailer. I'm like, this is gonna be Drug. stupid. What is this? Funniest, li- funniest shit in that whole movie <clears throat> is when he has sex with the older lady. Oh over, yeah, and he's laying there like pillow talking, and my man's like, "Can I tell you something?" She's like, "What?" He's like, "You're my first. She was like, "You're like my thousand and such and such and such." <laughs> he rolled over and he's like, "I should have worn a condom." Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. And the way they would talk at work, where they thought the whole time they thought he was having an affair, and then his grandma show up, and then they thought they were having an affair with his grandma. He had to come out and, right, and say something, go save the day. He's like, man, he's like, he can come I tell play with us about, later. He's like, tell him about, tell him about my STD from the prehistoric. He's like, got a yeah. stone age STD. He's like, he's like, yeah, her pussy smelled like the Great Depression. <laughs> said, there was some of the best one-liners in dude, there, dude. Right, that. Um, my all time anybody that knows me knows my all time favorite comedy movie period is Life with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, you you bring that one up. That's now, a good one, dude. When I first seen the trailer, <clears throat> I remember thinking at first I didn't think it was like gonna be like a funny comedy movie. I was like, uh-huh. they end up going to prison. Like, okay, this might be something a little serious. I'm like, it's Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence. There's gonna be a little comedy to it. Like, it's right. might be a, a, like a for real story, but like with a, a comedy twist to it. Yeah. And I had no idea that that movie was <laughs> that was gonna be that fucking it was funny, good. dude. Like, that is literally one of those movies that there's not there's not 20, 30 seconds of time in that movie going by that something funny is not happening or about to happen. Like you can turn a movie on at any time, any time yeah. during the film and you're going to be laughing. It's going to be something fucking funny going on. All right. I was, a, this movie right here, I kind of went in it at a bias. I was young and I'll be honest. I went at it to like, I don't want to see a movie with a bunch of people that are homosexual. I don't want to see a movie with a bunch of gay people when I was younger. It was like, I was like homophobic about 20. Younger. And uh, so yeah, I got invited. No, <laughs> no, so I knew some people, and I, I was there were some friends, and I would see them like once a week. You know, we'd hang out and stuff. And they were, um, they lived in like a nicer part of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
in like an uppity, you know, part with money or whatever. You know what I mean? So there was, and I would go see him once a week for a week. Leave they lived in the burbs for real. Like yeah, it was nice, burbs. crazy nice. And uh, so, anyways, we went to. A, they asked me to go to a movie, and um, <coughs> they were like, "Let's go see the Birdcage." I've All never right? seen it. So I was like, "Man, I don't know if I want to see it because it's all you know. I don't know if I want because I was a young kid. I you know I was stupid. I was just like, I don't know, blah blah blah." I didn't want to it see. It wasn't your cup of tea. It didn't sound like anything you'd be interested. So in. I'm like, but I didn't want to be rude. I was like, all right, man, I'm gonna go. You oh, know, fuck it, I'll roll. Yeah, we had a couple of drinks. I was just like, let's go. You know, after that, like, let's go see the movie. And I'm a Robin Williams fan. All right. Right. So, oh my gosh, man. And I, like I said, I had a. I was a young kid. I was like 20 or something like that. And like I said, I just, I had no idea what was coming in to. And that movie was, oh my god. Till this day, it's actually one of oh, another one of my favorite comedies because. Robin Williams kills it, and the guy who plays his um his partner, oh my gosh, man, those guys killed it. That and Gene Hackman's in it. Um, the one guy from The Simpsons, he does all the Simpson voices, and he was in um Along Came Polly, Hank Azaria or something like that. Uh, he was the scuba dive instructor in <laughs> Along Came Polly. You remember something like that movie with Ben Stiller? What? Oh, not Steve Buscemi. Nope, it's not Buscemi. Oh my God. You ever seen that movie with him and Jen- Jennifer Aniston? Along came Polly Ben Stiller. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm trying, and the I'm scuba diver. To... <laughs> Anyways, he does a lot of voices on The Simpsons. I know who you're talking about. I cannot remember. And that's weird for me. Yeah, he's their he's name. their maid, and and so oh my gosh, they had to place. They, so their son's gonna get married, and um, he's straight, and their his father's uh, homosexual, and he has a partner he lives with, and they're entertainers in Miami or something like that, and they're very successful, and so their the the daughter is the, the daughter of a big time politician like guy lined up to be president and shit so they like doesn't look good you know not back then it didn't look good now it's accepted you know what i mean but back right. then it was like oh, don't Tab- do it that I, it'll look bad for my image i'm a politician right. you know what i'm saying right. so they tried to hide it and robin williams loved his son so much and and, and his and his wife to be his son's wife to be his fiance that um and they hid it from her her father for a long time so they portrayed right. to be straight and that movie was so funny watching those guys, and they both are straight to watch them be so homosexual in the characters, the way they acted so well. To, and then they had to, they were so homosexual that they had to play straight people, was even a more a phenomenal performance. That movie was so fucking good, talent. and I laughed so hard to where my like eyes were watering in that movie. Dude, that's like that's like when you know something's funny when like the back of your head hurts yeah. and your cheeks hurt. You thought Robin Williams and that guy were for real the way they were, right? And then they had to play straight, and it looked so hard for them to play straight that you were like, that was like like when Denzel pulled off Training Day. Everybody knew a type of dude like that, like you said, and right. he pulled off a phenomenal like played out it, of the blue, played it to the bone. And Robin Williams and everyone in that movie, Gene Hackman, everybody, they did such a fucking good job. I swear to God, I laughed so hard at that movie, and that is now one of my faves, like, in my favorite comedies. Wow, and I've never seen it. I yeah. I've check that out. Oh, my but gosh, you know, dude. Uh, that one took me. Away, that was a surprise, surprise. I tell you that I never, I didn't even want to see the movie, but, you know, you, you have friends that be like, um, let's watch this, whatever. And I had heard about it from, like, so many different people. I was like. I've never, from looking at the, like, the video box or whatever, yeah. I was like, that was, like, some corny, some white people shit. Like, yeah. trying to be fun, not trying to be funny, but yeah. Office Space. Oh, yeah, that I was a good one. I to God, I watched Classic. that movie, dude, and I was just like, hell no, nah. like, this shit is <laughs> fucking fried. Like, dude, I love Office Space. It's one of my favorite movies now. That, that is a good one. That is fuck. That's a classic. My man was all gangster listening to, uh... The ghetto boys in the car. He's like such such a man. Oh Walk by and he slid down in the seat and put the window up like shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like that one caught me off guard too. That was a good sneaky one. That he was like, yeah, I'm also gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Saturday. Saturday. Like, get those TP reports. <laughs> when he holds that cup, you're like, mm. oh my gosh, that guy killed. That guy wanted to get punched in the face. Dude, that was my, somebody that looked to get punched. And my man was like, let me show him, let me show me your O face. Like, oh. Oh, he was like the ball oh, roller oh. coaster. <laughs> oh, that movie was funny as shit, dude. Office Space was that deal. I almost want to like, th- if I ever saw that guy in person, I almost want to throw something at him. He'd be like, what's that for? I was like, that was for Office Space, you dick. <laughs> good job. Right. You see him and walk down here with mug. He's like, yeah, um, 
I'm gonna need, also gonna need you to go ahead and I'm like, man, go ahead and shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. I, I would have quit my job. I would have beat that dude's ass or something, dude. I could not have had a boss like that and went to work every day. I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, nope. Me All right. That dude been fighting physically. All right. So I got another topic for you, man. Oh, shit. Here we go. We're going to jump into the music scene. All right. I was talking to this with my brother today and because and, my brother loves likes to be the DJ at work. We work together, me and my older brother. Sup, though? No, I'm just kidding. What up, Big Rick? No. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we was at work, and he was jamming some music, and his playlist was kind of random. It was like super random, Carissian. You would appreciate it. Do you know, my dude? Hey, you seen the music? I it would go from Facebook? like it would go from like ninety eight degrees nah, to some Mexican music, like cumbia, like, bach, like bachata, like to cum, it's like cum, cumbia and ninety eight degrees. Like it was an from DMX. You know what I'm saying? Like then DMX, where my dog's hey. at. You know what I'm saying? Like right after you know, be some some good mix. My shit. shit is like that though. Like man, I'll go from listening to fucking like Tori Amos or something. To fucking Megadeth. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm listening to old ass Run DMC. Like all like I know people see me post music sometimes yeah. on social media. I'm like, this nigga was just posted so and so, and it'd be something totally flipped. The very next song, I'd be like, wait a minute, he was just listening to Sade, and now that's me going Public Enemy, and that was Metallica. <laughs> right. So he's like, you know, we we'll open up shop first week. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, that's how Rough Riders rolled. And after that, it's like, you're a little late. I'm already torn. <laughs> you know, like right after. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Torn. Um, oh my God! I know. Is it so, Lisa Lowe? No, no. I forget her name. I my brother even told me her name because I even when the song came on, I was like, "What the hell? What's her name again?" And he told me it too, and I forgot it. But anyways, oh some country music came on, and some Mexican music came on, and the song that came on was one of them like stereotypical old country songs. Now they're not really that direction that much right now. But that, some, a couple of them are on the albums. That depressing ass. Yeah, album. the one of my life left me. You know that that shit like that. My dog my died. Dog got diabetes. Yeah. Mama's, 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 or like yeah. that one old guy, diabetes. Remember that guy Wolf back in the day? Brimley. He's a, got the diabetes. Dib- there was two series of it: diabetes and diabetes. The beetus. I guess the beetus you beat. You, you beat got the, you got the sugar beetus. <laughs> He's like eating oatmeal. It's like Quaker oats, crunch down your cholesterol and avoid you from having the diabetes. He looked like the same movie. Like he was like the same age or something for like. 15, 20 years. Look at the same dude. <laughs> Wolf of Brimley. Right. But I lost what I was saying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Rando derailed. Yeah. So he was playing this music, and it was like all these random songs, you know what I'm saying? Then it got to country, and then like to Mexican songs. And it sounded like a sad Mexican song. It was like a sad ballad. And then it was like almost like a, but it wasn't a sad ballad. And that's what I got to talk about. So like the country songs are usually. <laughs> it wasn't a sad It wasn't. Ballad. It was like, my man, it was a, a totally different realm. So like, I was it like, sounded like it, but it really wasn't. Yeah, so you listen to the country song in America, and my man's like, damn it, you know, it sucks, ain't that a shame, Where you know? Where you listening to that? Sad to Edward. In America. America. In America. America. Right here. It's America. United States of America. Rizzle. No, America. No, A, it's just America. America. Where you from, America? <laughs> right. U.S. America. You must, you must, U.S. Erica. No, I'm just kidding. You know her. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't, you better United, learn. United States of America. <laughs> So I'm like, I noticed that the country guy was just so depressed and so sad. And then the Mexican one came on, and he was talking about the same shit, but it looked like he was having a fucking blast at the song. <laughs> so my man was like, you know, I would translate, just do the English version, you know. So she left me, and now she's married again, you know. She's starting a new family without me, so I'll just take another toast. <laughs> and it might not translate the same in English, but in Spanish, it was a badass lyric. It was like a hot bar. You know what I'm saying? He's like 16 bars. He's spitting them. And she said she never wants to be with me again. And she hopes I die. And she will never come to my funeral. And our children will never see me again. You're like, hell yeah. And then he's like, like, cheers. (laughs) And then he starts partying. And he's like, and I don't care. (laughs) Cheers. Hey, because I'm telling you, the depressing country music, the first thing, like, midway through the song, you be thinking, like, you have to look at Google it. Like, damn, did this dude commit suicide? I wonder if he's still alive. For (laughs) real. Like, this motherfucker sounded suicidal in this song. It was like his last, it was like Nirvana's unplugged. That was like his sending <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them country songs were like that. But this dude was just like, she left me. Woo! And like all these songs that I was listening to, I'm like, why is he? Th- he don't sound that sad. And he's talking about some serious like, shit. Right. He's just telling a story. He ain't, he's like, I ain't mad about it. I'm just telling y'all what happened. Yeah. Like we were starting a family, except my wife and the doctor started the family without me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he didn't give a shit. Cheers. He's like, dodge that bullet. Dr- right. Drink. He was like, YOLO. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he was just like weird. It was just like celebrate. It was just a whole different version of sad music. It was funny, man. I was like, 
and I'm listening to it. I'm like, man, this dude's having a great time, and he's talking about some tragedy, it was like a party he's about like, tragedy. He was being he was being uh, productive. He was turning that negative into a positive. <laughs> Something. Turning, he was turning pain into. He was like direction. Tim Robbins. He was like so he had like a motivational speaker in the background. Who gives a care? He said, hey, Tim Robbins, <laughs> you can do it." Duh, what was that movie with him and uh, Martin Lawrence? And uh, not that Robin. I'm talking about that motivational speaker. Is his name Tim Robbins? It's something Robbins. I thought. Oh, I thought you were talking Tim Robbins, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the motivational speaker. Something Robbins. I thought his name was Tim I, Robbins. I, I don't know why. I I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I was thinking about a totally different person. You said Tim Robbins. I was like, yeah, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> that was Shaw, awesome. That's that Shawshank motherfucker. Shaw Sizzle. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I was saving this. I was saving this for the end. This is, it's coming up. It's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day for all you lovers out there, or non lovers, or solo people, hey. or really freaky weird people. And the side chicks and the side dudes, just be aware. You, if, if you're that side person, know your role, stay in your lane, don't be getting your feelings about Valentine's Day because you knew you was number two. He mm-hmm. was in the back seat, not the passenger seat. So you knew that from day one, so don't get mad when <laughs> you get a card and some of them little hard-ass, chalky, uh, hard candies. Or you can only hang out. Don't get mad when you can only hang out till like, 2 o'clock. <laughs> right. Because the night is out. He's like, right. 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 He's like, we doing Valentine's Day, baby? Like, yeah, I'll be there to pick you up about 1030. Like, at night, I'm going to be getting in the room. Like, no, 1030 in the morning, I got shit to do, so we're going to have to wrap this up by 2 <laughs> o'clock. It's like 2 o'clock, like, you're getting a whole three and a half hours from 1030 to 2. You got me, all you. <laughs> but after that, I'm going to holler at you at work, after work tomorrow morning. Like Tomorrow morning, like I got some shit to do, and I got to work in the morning. If you want to do lunch or something, tomorrow. So I was going to bring up some uh, strange, interesting, odd Valentine's gift ideas for people since the holiday's coming up. But I know you've got an interesting story you'd like to share. Oh, so I thought we'd get that, that one out of there. Man, like, I don't, I don't even, it, it was, it's a Valentine's Day story. And this is one of the most, only, like, it's, I can laugh about it now, but it was so uh-huh. shock and awe and embarrassing at the time. I'll never shock and awe? All right, so, there's a check, and, dude, this was, like, back in, like, mid-90s, I'll say. And, uh, she's a little stripper check, whatever, long story short, matter, we started kicking and talking, whatever. But uh-huh. it wasn't, like, a date, like, we weren't, like, exclusive or anything, it was, you know what I'm saying, we was, Friends with benefits type deal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right. And, uh, you know, we was cool, though. And <laughs> I'll never forget. She was like, you ain't got shit up for Valentine's Day. Like, come on over, you know, smoke some weed. This and that. Like I said, this is like early 90s. I was still in my 20s. Yeah. And uh, I had my boy with me. And I'm not going to say his name, but it's the same dude that brought the bag to the party. Oh. <laughs> I say his name. But. Uh, we'll say that one for another time. <laughs> But anyway, I went over, my my whole thing was, he was with me, and I told her, I was like, I got my boy with me, so I'm going to stop uh-huh. by for a little bit, and I'll drop him off, or whatever, or woo, woo, woo. Yeah. And she's like, no, because I asked her, I was like, I got my boy with me, she's like, should I drop him off, whatever? She's like, I don't care, like, if, you know, if he's with you, like, you got to stop by, whatever, such and such, and I was like, all right, yeah. cool. Had a little, uh-oh. Hard and like, made a little... I forgot I, what it was, but it wasn't no like this my boo, I love you type. It was just Oh, was she the, like uh it was, just, it was just the sentiment, like, oh damn it's Valentine's Day. I should okay. probably get her a little card or I'm sensing a strange scenario. I'll be quiet, but I'm sensing oh, a scenario. Th- oh, this this shit went horribly awry for me anyway. All right. Like it was one of the moments where I was standing there with that oh no Mr. Bill look on my face, but oh, within my no. within my back, I, right, the oh no Mr. Bill face. But in my mind, I was in my DMX and my in my mind I was like, Come on, bitch, you can't be serious. <laughs> but what they really want from no, it's gonna be right, so dick. We go over, we chill, we bullshit, whatever, yada yada. Um and you know, it's getting a little bit later, so I'm thinking like it's Valentine's Day. I'm gonna drop my boy up and come back and do our thing. You yeah, understand like what we do. Okay. And uh. Okay. 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 <laughs> so I tell her, I was like, all right. Uh, I stand up, grab my jacket, and all this shit. I was like, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him to the crib, and I'll be back. Uh huh. She was like, he ain't gotta go. I was like, huh? She's like, he can chill if you want. I was like, I knew it. Right. So she so she was like. 
she's like, uh, he can stay if you want to. I'll take him home. So in other words, like, he can stay and I'll take him home. Like, why don't you dip? Like, like you can go ahead and dip. But, like, if he want to stay, I'll take him home. Like, what? so in other words, I'll take him home is the damn. Is the like, that's like when you're at a girl's crib. And you been sitting, look, y'all been sitting there watching movies all night. And you hey. think he, look, you think he about to get something? And she's standing there and be like, I'm about to go to bed. What you about to do? Man, <laughs> like, you, you missed like, out on a business opportunity. You could have started a new company called Uber Dick. You could just, <laughs> you just Ubered some dick over there. Dude. You just Ubered some dick. Dude. You shit mates. It was Bro, dick mates. Let, but let me tell you, the aftermath of this, my, my face was looking like, like, I, I, I couldn't get mad. You feel betrayed? Mad. No, I couldn't get mad because... He you guys weren't listen, listen. He we weren't exclusive. That wasn't my woman. Uh-huh. We were just like I said, if I wasn't dating anybody, whatever. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Me and her, you know, fucked around did whatever. And she just asked what I was doing. She was like, You ain't doing shit, fall through, whatever. And I was like, like I said, I hadn't even bought her anything for Valentine's Day up until she called me and I was like, Oh, damn. So you basically brought her a Valentine's gift. Right. But little did I know because it was dick. It was weird. Your boy. Right, check it out. But they wasn't, <laughs> they wasn't flirting the whole time. It wasn't. It wasn't really even no much conversation, uh-huh. or whatever. Like, you know, and I didn't. It wasn't no like she was looking at him or he was making looks. At, yeah. None of that went on. So this was just straight out of left field. Like, all right, uh, I'm gonna go shoot him to the crib and whoop whoop whoop. My she scenario was, like, was way off. Like, he, right? She was like, he ain't gotta go. I was like, I'm thinking like, she was like right. no. But in my mind, when she said. He ain't got to go. I'm thinking, like, all right, fuck it. You don't care if he chill while we in the bedroom doing whatever. Like, I don't care either, but yeah. I was just out of respect for you. She was like, uh, she was like, I can take him home later. Like, like, to me, Damn. She, like, it wasn't simple. Like, I can take him home later, meaning when you're not here and yeah. he's still here, I yeah. can take him home. And he, look, he didn't say shit. He was kind of looking like, <laughs> and I was like, and I, I couldn't get mad because, like I said, this ain't my woman. Yeah. And he wasn't hitting on her behind my back. This is the first day he ever met her. He's, like, he's yeah. never even met her before. And uh, so she said that. Like I said, I was standing there with the oh, no, Mr. Bill look on my face, like stuck on stupid, dangling on dumb. I'm like, look, look, a million, I'm like Dr. Strange. A million different scenarios are going through my mind right now. I'm like, do I say something? Should I say this? What's yeah. going on? Like, what, like, what's my next move? Like. Do I just grab my coat and say, all right, y'all have a good time and leave? Or do I just be like, bitch, you did what? Or be like, no, this is that. Like, I was just stuck for a minute. So I was like. What if you did the Jedi mind trick and just repeated yourself? Like, I'm going to drop him off and I'll be right back. You might have, it might have worked. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> and look, as much as I felt like stupid. Yeah. I was like, I can't hate. I'm not going to cock block. Like, I have no choice but to just let this ride. Like, the the best thing I can do right now is exit stage left and exit, bow, bow out gracefully. Yeah. And like, just like, all right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I, look, I looked at him, waiting, I looked at him, I was like, all right, bro, hit me up tomorrow or something, whatever. And she was, and she was kind of looked at me like, you ain't got your coat on yet? Like, damn. Like, looked at me like, she was look, kind of giving me that look like. She was giving you the wrap it up right, box. Right. She was kind of looking at me like. Like, I wish you would hurry the fuck up and be gone. Like, like I'm about to fuck the shit out of him as soon as you walk out the door. Right. Like, there's not about to be no conversation. Like, as soon as you, like, why is you still here? She's about to like, be that clasp. Right. A chip like, clip. She's about to chip clip his ass. But I wasn't mad because I just helped with her sister, like, maybe three days before that. Uh-huh. But I, I, I don't think she knew about that. Because if right. she had, she would have said something. But her sister was hotter than her anyway. But I thought I was just like... I got her, and I got her sister on back, and she came at me like, yeah, uh, me, like, like me and your boy about to go to bed, what you about to do? <laughs> right. I was like. That's hilarious. Be hitting the old dusty trail. Dude, the, the shame on the back of my face, uh, no, on my face, you talk about egg, it was like ostrich egg, that bitch was huge. <laughs> oh my God, that is messed up. Oh yeah, it was. So my scenario was way off. I thought she was going to be like. That chick from Hot Tub Time Machine. She was like, no, I like my guys in twos. Like, she was ready to just, like, double up. No. Like, double she double like, gum. She was like, I'm a one-man kind of woman. But he, you're not that yeah, man. He it's is. It's just not <laughs> that. No, that one. <laughs> Dang. But yeah. being that it's Valentine's, <laughs> it's good. I got some funny-ass gifts here. And I thought it was hilarious. One of them. 
that you don't, I would recommend you don't get your other, I mean, unless you guys are some into that stuff, chocolate, uh, chocolate buttholes. Ew. So basically, yeah, I guess it, you can do it to your own and you can mold it or you can get them from Amazon. I guess they're already shaped like a butthole and they're chocolate edible buttholes. Wow. I don't recommend that. I would be offended if someone gave me some shit like that. What about some nightmare sodas? What? Like, you know how they have, like, weird IPA beers? Well, now they have yeah. these, like, independent sodas where they just have these random flavors of pop. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't. So, like, bacon-flavored pop, I, buffalo I wing pop. Why? <laughs> sweet corn pop. <laughs> why? Pumpkin why pie pop. Even, that, don't that one might be a good. I don't know about that. I don't Ranch dressing pop. Soda. You, you see the look on my face right now, right? Yes. I have that why, that why look. Like, why Why the fuck would you spend your money to make something like that? And look at last but not least, peanut butter jelly pop. That might be worth trying. Peanut butter and jelly soda. Like peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. That sounds like it might be worth trying. And here's another one. A creepy Pennywise anatomical heart bath bomb. So I guess when it looks like a real heart, an anatomical sized heart, and when you throw it in the bathtub, it bubbles up and starts to look like the It Clown, like, like Pennywise. Pennywise. Look at that. I'll put a picture up here. Mm-mm, I don't want to do all that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want. <laughs> I wouldn't want. I would. if that thing pops up between your legs. What the hell? I'm, it's it's a wrap. I'm getting out the tub. <laughs> I'm going to get out the tub and be left up in, in the bed in my sheet. Like, did this really just happen? What about a custom pillow for your significant other with your face on it? It's like a it's like, like a uh, punching bag. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll be like, be like, she walks Ugh. out the room like, I'm set over easy. <laughs> <laughs> just punching, gut punching your pillow. Like, ooh, look, fucking takes a sharpie and paints a black eye. <laughs> like, right. Now, this one, I, I got to gotta call you out, whoever you are that made this. A squirrel, a squirrely teddy bear. They'll all be nuts about. Okay, so they said it's like a bear mixed with a fucking squirrel. But yeah, you I'm see like, how they did this? It's like a teddy bear with a squirrel hood on. I'll put the picture up. Now, <laughs> it looks like they failed at making an Ewok and just renamed it. Oh, the my shit. God, it does look like an Ewok. Like, he tried, and he was like, fuck. I'll just put a tail on it and make it part squirrel. <laughs> now take it, it, it look, the, And it looks like it's got a squirrel hat on or something. Like it's a teddy yeah, bear, like it's like he's dressed for hat. Halloween. Like, somebody just dressed an Ewok for Halloween. Like why is this look? Why is this head all cocked? It's not like, huh? Yeah, it ain't <laughs> look, even he straight. Got the huh look, like, huh? Look, it ain't even straight. Right, his neck is all straight. His ears are lopsided. Look, his feet are different sizes. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you really love your significant other, you're gonna get him a pair of bread slippers. Is it? Is that real bread? No. It just looks like a little. Looks like it. Oh, I was like, just some mushed up fucking bread, like for real. I'm gonna make a fucking why? hoagie. Look, but why would you want some slippers that look like bread? I mean, what's the What's the they must love carbs. No, I'm just kidding. He's like, man, this is 1,500 carbs right here on my feet. Or if you're gluten-free, this will be like having bread. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> some gluten-free better bread slippers. Like, why would you? All right. Uh, How about this? Jizz the game. A party that will come in handy, otherwise dull to get together. What in the entire fuck is it? What? I don't know the premise of the game, but you see the object of the um, game. Um... So apparently you're gonna, you know, you get three turns. That's got to be a chick game, period. Like, should no man ever, ever. I um, you gotta fill it with water. I'll I'll show a picture, and uh, apparently, <laughs> the object of this game when you draw the cards is to, you pull a card to how many times you gotta push down on this toy, and then uh, if it that type of shit don't make no sense. Uh, finishes, you lose. <laughs> Cause you lose. You lose if it releases. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was horrible, though. So yeah, I will be sharing this one, and it's called Jizz the Game. I don't even need to leave it to imagination. I'll show a quick so, picture. So what happens when your kid walks in on you and your home, her homegirls playing Jizz the Game? Like, mom, what's that? I want to play. Right. I want to play. It's like playing Sorry. <laughs> you're gonna pop like, Sorry. Like you're gonna be sorry after this happens. You gotta be. <laughs> well, to top off the Jizz game, why not? You've got crabs. You played a whole game with everybody on the table with just game. You got all dirty. Now you, you got, crabs. got crabs. Finishing it off with a game of you got crabs. So it's a fun card game, but you got to play. And I guess if you, I guess the one of the penalties is you got to try to hold your cards with crab hands. The game is called You Got Crabs. 
<laughs> like why? Like, yeah. Just the. So like I said, you get all this time, all this fun, you know, with a group of friends playing the jizz game. And then and now what? Off of the game, and you got crabs. Now you got the crabs. Where's the clinic game? Now this one's like interesting, but I don't know if you'd want to do with this with your significant other or whatever. Undies for two. They're called fundies. It's like one pair, and you guys both got to get in it. You said they're called fundies. That'd be like a the did worst you, potato sack race ever. Hey, did your Funkle have some? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Funkles and fundies. Fundies and Funkles. <laughs> hey, um, I don't, why would you want to be in the same underwear with somebody? That's just too close for me. Like, like I said, it'd be a failed like potato sack ra- race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, because it'd be like a crab walk, like side to side. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be able to walk forward and backwards. You'd have to be like crab walking side to side. That's hilarious. That's right. And if you guys like this episode, click like, subscribe, and click like and subscribe and turn on that notification button so you don't miss an episode because we are dropping wednesday and saturday and this has been another episode of meant event till next time humans see ya and see Thank <laughs> you.